thing in the world they said that married people don't masturbate <laughs> yeah pretty much like I I masturbate and it's like it's not even the same as when I'm single because now I watch porn and it's like I don't even watch it to see all the freaky stuff I just be sitting there and it's like it's like a love movie for me <laughs> I'm like oh I want what they have <laughs> Like, for real. Like, y'all remember back in the day when y'all watched porn and, like, everybody watched it, but it was so embarrassing that you wouldn't even say it. And the only reason you knew that somebody else watched porn was because they said something that only somebody else who watched porn would know. Like, you walk up to some old boy, he was like, hey, man, I met this fine ebony BBW the other day, dog. I don't know. Unless you racist or you watch porn. <laughs> Refer to a black woman as Ebony. Like, you just don't. Loki, okay, that's, how, that's how I found out my wife watched porn. Because we was going back and forth talking about what we would and would not be willing to do before we got married. And she said, I will not be doing that ATM. I'm like, I don't even know what that is. Like, what does that mean? She said, ATM is ass to mouth, and I ain't no cum guzzling slut. I'm like, wait a minute. The hell you been watching? Oh, man. It's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. But I'm about to get out of here, but I want to leave y'all with this one thing. Remember this, if you don't remember anything else I said. Remember, music soothes the savage beast. So next time you gotta tell somebody something bad, you gotta do it musically. <laughs> like fellas, if you wanna tell your boy that you had sex with his girl, you gotta rap it to him. Just be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Your girl's a hoe, I know, cause she gave me a blow. And then she bent over and she touched her toes. I said, whose is this? She said, it's show late Joe's. <laughs> your boy won't even be mad at you. He just be sitting there like, dog, will you learn how to rap like that? You got bars, homie. Or like, if you want to break up with your girl, you got to sing it to her. Just be like, girl, your face is really ugly and you know your coochie stank. So I am breaking up with you. She won't even be mad. She just be like, all the men of my dreams can see. And you just leave and don't come back. <laughs> but keep the Netflix password. <laughs> but if you gotta tell somebody something real bad, I'm gonna leave with this. You gotta tell somebody something real bad, you gotta hit them with a big no first. Cause we like, girl, oh, I gave you the clap. My name is Jason Jamerson. I'm out of here. So even though I'm Latino, I wear condoms. <laughs> My cousin's like, why do you wear condoms? But he has eight kids. So I tried to explain to him, I said, I wear condoms because it's better safe than Maury. <laughs> I'm half white, half Hispanic, so you can call me a honky, just don't pronounce the H. <laughs> You can spell it with a J if you really want to. If you're determined to be racist, I guess. Um, I speak Spanish, which means I'm like three bong hits away from understanding Portuguese. That's been tested and proven. That's actually how you learn Portuguese, you guys. Rosetta Stone, Rosetta Stoned. It works better, it's cheaper. Who are wake and bake today? <laughs> Somebody snored a little bit, like, damn, you smoke too much. Right? I think waking and baking would be a lot less acceptable if it didn't rhyme. Like it's really catchy, you know, your roommate's up 6 a.m., you're like, hey man, why are you up so early? Oh, I'm just waking and baking. 
be like, all right, that seems like a fine thing to do, you know, follow your dreams, <laughs> It's a lot different. Your roommate's up 6 a.m. You're like, hey man, why are you up so early? Oh, well, I'm gonna start my day off with drugs. <laughs> be like, damn, Keith, don't you have a job, man? You have to make rent this month. You should be more responsible. Maybe you should just wake and bake. You ever think? <laughs> So, uh, Congress is debating whether or not we should drug test people on unemployment. What do you guys think? But well, maybe that's why you're unemployed. <laughs> Too much waking and baking, like we don't know. But what I don't think is fair is that we drug test people that have jobs. Because if you're stoned out of your mind at work, you're doing a great job and nobody could tell, well, good for you. That's awesome. You're living the dream. You're my hero, right? I think if anything, we should drug test everyone at the workplace, whoever's on the most drugs, gets a promotion. Because <laughs> they're obviously not being challenged enough. Right, like, hold on a sec. You're saying that Tim's been bagging groceries this whole time on PCP, that is amazing. He's the future of this company. Get him in my office. Make sure he knows he's not in trouble. He might try to stab you in the face, but that's your boss now. Get on his good side. I went to, uh, I went to school for uh, uh, liberal arts, also known as customer service, anyone else? Kind of embarrassing, I studied political science, politics, still have no idea who Benghazi is. I don't know what is, is, is. I'm out, like I should go back to school probably at this point. I ended up like a politician from studying politics, whatever. Like I'm, I'm really good in the interview. I'm not actually good at the job. Like, I can get elected. I just might not finish out my term. I was in a group interview and the lady asked us if we could be any fictional character. Who would we be? And the other guy, he said Batman. I was like, Batman, the one superhero with no superpowers? Great choice, moron. You can't hire this guy. That's, on top of that, not very fond of his parents, is he? All right, moment of silence for the Wayne family, I guess. I don't know what it is. So it's my turn. She asked me if I could be any fictional character, who would I be? And I thought I had the perfect answer. I was like, oh, I'll be God. But she did not like that one. She was not, she was not on board, you guys. Same reaction, same, yeah. But I don't think I want to be a Sunday school teacher anyway. Probably just not for me. I knew this girl, she was a butterfinger. Like, everything looked good, but her finger was missing. Like, it's, not, it's, it's not a deal breaker, right? Not, it's not even close, right, guys? Like, we can handle it. Like, she can't handle it. We, I knew this girl, she was beautiful. She was a nine fingered girl. Which is the same. I was in bed with my girlfriend the other day and uh, I was trying to tell her, I said, honey, you look beautiful in this light right now. And she got pissed at me. Apparently it's my fault not realizing all the lights were off. I said, but I said, you were beautiful. Like, take a compliment. I'm not, I'm not good at everything, like babysitting. Like, to me, babysitting just means that uh, I watch something different on Netflix for a little while. Right? That's kind of what it is, basically. You just ask five-year-old, I asked my, my girlfriend's five-year-old, what do you want to watch on Netflix? He said he wanted to watch Dexter. Oh, He's like, your mom lets you watch Dexter? Well, I like Dexter, so I put on Dexter for a few episodes. Man, that's five -year -old. It's better than what he usually likes to watch. You know? He kind of got qu like really quiet and weird after like three episodes. So I was like, what's wrong? Like, isn't this your favorite show? He, he goes, where is the laboratory? <laughs> I was like, it's in the police station with the Asian guy. Don't you watch Dexter? Like, he obviously doesn't watch Dexter. Like, posing. We go on field trips sometimes. We'll go to like the public library, also known as the homeless internet oasis. You ever been? A lot of homeless people on, at the library on Facebook. What are homeless people doing on Facebook? Were they poking their friends for food? Hey, I've been poking you all week, man. You keep poking me back, man. I'm hungry, man. Can you help me out? Poke? Like, what's the homeless person's status up there gonna be? Hungry? I'm not gonna like it. I'll share it, right? You share it. Wish him good luck. I really want to be a film director. By film, I mean porn. 
Right? By director, I mean star. I'm not there yet, but I'd like to do that as a job. Uh, but what I don't quite understand is why they feel they have to pay the male porn star. And that seems like a pretty sweet gig already. Like, you don't gotta get paid on top of it. Like, that's greedy, right? That's really good. Like, I'd be a really cheap porn star, you guys. I'd be like a discount porn star. My porn name would be like TJ Maxx. <laughs> Throw another X on the end there and make it dirty, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is that my clothes would be half off. <laughs> I keep my shirt on like Winnie the Pooh. Who <laughs> was picturing it? It's cute, it's, but it's a terrible name for a terrible name for a porn star, though, right? That's the worst name for Pooh and porn does not. Mix at all this stuff. Um, I got my first porno, at least it's in the works, at least in my imagination. It's an all Asian feature. Where are my Asians at? Woo! All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna cast it tonight, but it's an all Asian feature. Uh, <laughs> I call it High Cooch. <laughs> And the first scene has five girls, and the second scene has seven girls, and the third scene has five girls. And you gotta know what a haiku is to get that joke. But, uh, but hey, who remembers fifth grade anyway, right? That was a long time ago. I guess horigami's out of the question. So I, 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 I'm on the road a lot. I was, um, it was my birthday and uh, I was in like Wichita. So I went to Denny's for a free breakfast because I lead a sad life. <laughs> Denny's, it tastes like the waitresses look. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, it's so good, right? It's so good. Loved my waitress, she was all like hitting on me, said I look like your grandson. So. But she was Mexican, so she was like 26, so you know, still got it, you guys. So. <laughs> Once in a while, a woman wants to have sex with me. And they're not the women I want to have sex with. But I do them, you know, it's good karma. <laughs> good karma. If I keep up this trajectory, then someday, Tara Lipinski. Oh. Hey, anyone here go to Tom Green? He was at Dr. Green's this weekend? Anyone? Yeah, you didn't really. Oh, well, anyways, I went to Tom Green, and after the show, I approached him, I took my shirt off, I extended a marker, and I was like, will you please sign my tips? <laughs> And he just mumbled something and walked away. So, like, I don't know, how do you recover from being too weird for Tom Green? <laughs> it's a rhetorical question. Obviously, I'm going to stalk him. <laughs> um, I only have one stalker. If I knew in high school that I'd be almost 40 and I only have one stalker, it would be pretty disappointing. <laughs> See, I wake up in the middle of the night, Donald Trump is standing over me, breathing really loud. It's, <laughs> Donald, get the fuck up. Wait, no. How did you get in here? This doesn't make sense. I, how did he get there? <sighs> My doctor told me he can no longer, in good conscience, prescribe me Xanax. And that's really, it's fine because you know what's almost as good as Xanax? It kind of feels like Xanax? Uh, syphilis. <laughs> Medical joke, good. Um, there are some religious people that say if you're really good, when you die, you get your own planet. I guess God has never considered the advantages of condo living. In movies, people on welfare are dirty and mean and greedy, but in real life, they'll give you a great deal on their bridge card. <laughs> I saw a PSA where this guy said, it is not cool to be a serial killer. 
You can tell he's a virgin. Um, I've been reading that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, because I have 30 illegitimate kids. Math says one's going to grow up rich. And math says that it won't be easy getting money out of them. You, you know when you're hanging out with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and you're like, I hope he doesn't find out what I'm thinking and then like everything just lines up perfectly and he's thinking the same thing and then you practice making out on each other for a couple hours? I'm not the only one. Do you know, the pe people say that it's cheaper to buy a house than rent an apartment. But if you buy a house, you gotta buy 10 Valentine's presents for all the women in your basement. <laughs> I got caught picking up a hooker and I told the judge I'm really sorry to prove to her I'm a changed man, I would fuck her for free. <laughs> um, she hasn't called me, but I know she's thinking about me. <laughs> um, I go on dates. I bring my teddy bear on dates and women get uncomfortable, but like, he's there for me, you know? He takes the edge off having my three-year-old son drown in the bathtub. <laughs> See, I was on the phone in the other room, like, I, I don't know how many times I gotta tell the police that. They, they said, hey, it's suspicious because you've had CPS called on you 75 times. Well, if I was a bad parent, I would not have survived 75 visits from CPS. I heard 90% of Down Syndrome babies are aborted. But like to me, if you're in the top 10% of any group, you're special. <laughs> I've, I've been drinking, uh, getting drunk every day for about 10 years. And people with fetal alcohol syndrome still treat me like an outsider. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, do you ever spank the hell out of your girl's pussy because you saw it in a porno? <laughs> And then she, she's like, stop, that hurts. Uh, okay. But I think the porn star knows more about it than you. <laughs> um, you, you ever, you know, looking up porn on the internet, your search words, you're like, every kind of porn ever made at the same time, ultra hardcore, times 9,000. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at now. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, uh, my buddy says he'll, he'll bone his girlfriend, but then he won't cuddle with her. And I was like, dude, that's wrong, but you know what? I'm a hypocrite, because I do the same thing to my St. Bernard. I fuck my St. Bernard. Okay. Well, do you, you know, like, you get drunk, like, so blackout drunk, the next day you don't remember a thing, and you're just dragging ass, and then, like, you got the lights down, it takes an hour to make a bowl of cereal. It's like, oh, I'm never drinking again, ever. And then the cops come to the door and arrest you for raping an obese man with Down syndrome. Yeah! <laughs> Your disapproval is like food. I love it. And then it's like, leading questions. They're like, yeah, but don't you like the sound they make when they're tickled? Well, yeah, everybody likes, oh, fuck! <laughs> you just wish you had a time machine so you could go back in time, not drink at all. That way you'd remember if you're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> so I... <laughs> I had a homeless hooker move in, and I found out I'm not the first guy who's thought of this. And, uh... There's a giant spider above here. There's a giant spider. What the fuck? Oh, I see that. That one? I'm safe. So, I, I got all excited for rent day, you know, and then she paid me in cash, bitch. So, oh, um, man. Uh, I don't know if... If I really have a foot fetish, exactly, but I do not date women without feet. <laughs> Man, so I, I'll go to hookers who work at Subway. Listen to me. 
You order a sub from her first, find out if she follows directions. Okay. And uh, I, uh, I got so bad with the ladies right now, like I will not go in the woods by myself because if a wolf rapes me, no one's going to believe it. Yeah. Wolves. That's what the wolves do. Yeah. I was actually worse off in the seventh grade. I would go stand next to my crush at the bus stop and just pray that we'd get kidnapped and the guy would make us do stuff to each other. Uh, do you ever, some of you know about this, get boners in class. I used to do that all the time. I had to, I had to stop being a teacher. <laughs> I went to the gastroenterologist, got scoped out. It wasn't bad. It wasn't the first time I paid for an ass to mouth. Okay. You know, some guys will do any woman and they'll say it's because pussy don't got a face, right? You familiar? Pussy don't got a face. But women hear that and it's really damaging because now even the ugly women are making me pay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. Women say they want a guy to go all night, but if you don't come in the first 10 minutes, she says you're insulting her pussy. Oh, uh -huh. I, I just feel so close to you guys right now. Oh, well. I think, uh, I think I might be at my time, so I'll just tell one more joke. Uh, any random, okay, something. Hey! The thing about eating out an Asian girl is that an hour later, the feds burst through the door, demand you to get the fuck off that undocumented 12 year old. <laughs> hey, John, you from Costa Rica, so fuck that guy that was making fun of accents. <laughs> Mine happens to bring some boys to the yard. Like, one. Sometimes. But anyway, I don't even know why I bother telling people where I'm from. Like, most people just like, oh, or half the people are trying to figure out if I said Puerto Rico funny. Or they just don't even care, they just assume, assumed I said Puerto Rico funny. The other half are just trying to figure out what part of Mexico Costa Rica is. <laughs> it's not, you guys. <laughs> it's like a whole other country. White people are so cute. <laughs> people are always trying to figure out where I am, though. Um, sometimes I get that I look Hawaiian. And I think that one's cool. Like, that one is my favorite because it's like, well, that makes me an American, you guys. <laughs> and I always wanted to not be a foreigner because it's like the worst thing that you can be in the US. Especially when you're the kind that looks like a Mexican. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I don't like him either. <laughs> Um, of course people do realize that I'm not American or like any type of other born American um, or Hawaiian or whatever. Um, when I talk and people realize that I talk like this. I never used to think I had an accent until I hurt myself while I was high. I was like, oh fuck, I should have jumped off the boat. But again, some people think it's cute so I just like you know, cash in on that from time to time. Um, my ex-husband used to tell used to tell me that I look like Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. And I kinda thought about it and I'm like, you know, that's like the closest that it gets for someone like you to be a Disney princess. So fuck it, I'll take it. She's cute. Also, my ex-husband kind of looked like Stitch. So role-playing was a no-brainer. It was pretty hot. Not really. 
Um, in this era, though, where people kind of just like get to identify as whatever they want to be, you know, like there's like Bruce Jenner now gets to identify as Kate Gen um, Caitlyn Jenner. She like, she gets to be a woman because she wants to. That's awesome. Like this other lady that was like running this black organization, but she's white, but like she made everybody think that she was black because she just wanted to be. So I'm like, okay, so now everybody just like gets to identify as whatever they want. So that's cool, I identified as Hawaiian. Um, but then I also thought like, there's all these protected groups, like you can't make fun of people for their race or where they come from. Um, but you can still make fun of fat people. <laughs> So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to identify as skinny. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And you have to accept it. Like, you, you can't deny it because I will sue you or something. I don't know how it works. Because, um, yeah, it like, you know, whatever. So um, I have a lot of, like, trouble dating. Like, I'm divorced now. And I'm, I have a lot of trouble dating because I'm very, very picky. Like, I'm way picky for somebody that looks like me, basically. Um, I like guys that are very tall. Like, that's my thing. Like, I just want you to be, like, freakishly tall. Like, I, I want to look I want to look up, and I don't want to see your face. <laughs> Mostly because I'm pretty sure I will hate you soon huh. enough. And I'm like, I don't, I just want, I just want to look at your face. <laughs> um, but for some reason, I mean, I do a lot of online dating. And for some reason, just really, really short guys are the ones that write to me. And sometimes they're so short that the website, like this, you know, online platform doesn't even have a height they can choose from. So their height just says something like shorter than, like it has a symbol, it's just like shorter than five feet. And I'm like... Do you like work at a chocolate factory? <laughs> Are you gonna be busy around the holidays? Because I just, I just need to know that right now. And I'm like, how how would that even work? Like, I mean, I'm not super tall, but I'm like, you know, I'm like, how would that even work? Like, do you want me to like dig a hole in the ground and like get on my knees like inside the hole just so that I can be a dick level and like can suck your dick? Like, like that's not already like humiliating enough to do, you know. Like, on top of that, I have to like go through all that work. Like imagine just being at Home Depot, like buying a shovel, and people are like, "Oh, so what are you working on?" You don't want to know. Give it up for Anna. Yeah. My new girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not even here to do comedy. I just wanted to meet some Costa Rica chicks. <laughs> so that worked out. Anyway, I, I, I don't go on Facebook that much anymore because there's kind of weird people on Facebook. Like uh, one time, some lady put on my page, um, used the word orgasm in a sentence. So I wrote, Adolf Hitler once said, should we burn the juice orgasm? <laughs> And she liked it, so I had a blocker. She kept sending me links to uh, KKK rallies, and she had a blocker. 